Out of the 11 as Josh Cohen gets a second consecutive start at goalkeeper. Yeri Urinen comes in at left back. Junior Urso added to a midfield that's anchored by Ashley Westwood sitting in front. Has endured much in the last three days. A water main break denying thousands in the metropolitan area access to clean water. We're told this stadium is functioning just fine. It hasn't prevented a tremendous crowd. Brad Guzan on the bench. It's Tiago Almada who wears the armband a second straight time. Rook Sledden brings this down in the 18. Longinice looking to pick up where he left off in midweek. Puts it over the bar. Yeah. Player of the match day, match day 17. He scored twice for the first time in his career. Looking for more. Sama fires wide. Oh, he's had two glorious chances in the opening minutes of the match. Now the most relieved man in the stadium. In this half, just been sloppy defensively. You just see when they win the ball back here, just goes to play back, but he plays it back blind. And you're thinking, Logan needs to just find the corner, but keep... Able to beat Byrne, plays into the 18. Opportunity for Atlanta, this ball played back. Muyamba with a shot that won't go. Exceptional build-up by the five stripes, but the chance went awry. Yeah, it's another chance. Almada plays ahead. Brooks Lennon works it across. And going for the extraordinary finish. T.R.A. who put it off frame. Not out of the woods yet as we watch Tiago Almada. Top of the 18, Almada goes for goal and a save by Kalina. It's a good save from Kalina as well. Down Atlanta has allowed five set-piece goals to this point. Urinen on the free kick, curls that ball in and headed directly at the goalkeeper, Cohen. Tiago Almada. Service by Saba. Almada gives it a go, fires and scores! It took 35 minutes, the breakthrough arrives, and Atlanta is off and running. Well, everything that's been good about Atlanta has come down the left-hand side early on in the game. But just look at the run from Almada. He initially starts out wide, then he comes inside, but then you've got to say you talk about Melanda. You have to clear your lines. He doesn't do that. Charlotte, do not reset. And then you just see Almada, he's just waiting for his moment. Waiting for his moment. And what I love about him as a player, he gives the ball, but then he goes, where's the next place where I can find space? And he does it so well on so many occasions. And this is a difficult ball to hit because it's not the greatest of balls. It takes a deflection and then it takes another deflection when it comes off Almada. It goes off Melanda again. But take... It is Urinen once again. On the outswinger, this takes a deflection. Cohen did it cross the line. A partial celebration in progress, but no indication yet that this is a goal. And have a look. And it will probably be this angle. And you just have to look at Cohen's left hand. When he goes for it, his hand is completely over the line as in terms of in the goal. It's a valiant effort, but I do know. The interesting thing in this situation is we know that VAR, they think it's a clear and obvious error. But there is no goal line technology. So the angles that we're going to see here are the angles that the referee's going to see. And it's so tough. So what... After review, the ball did cross the goal line. The final decision is a goal. McCarty backtracking, and the big forward fends him off. This is Vargas. Abada again. Goes, fires, scores! Liel Abada from long range. And suddenly Charlotte is on top in a stunned Mercedes-Benz Stadium again at home they are so stretched you've got McCarty who's your defensive midfielder the back three now has to retreat they don't know what to do McCarty can't get back that then leaves the space all of a sudden now look at the gap between the midfield and the defense McCarty drops himself in there are acres of space absolutely acres of space and then Abada well he takes full advantage of it but that is Atlanta in a nutshell, at home, the problems that they create, which is the midfield wants to go and press. Needing a goal to get level. Abada plays in the return. Lee Abada with the shot. Dangerous doings in the Atlanta area again.
Orenen plays ahead. Westwood waiting on this. His shot is buried. And the all-important insurance goal. It is Charlotte with a bottom. Getting his second of the game. Two or four, it's difficult. And that's exactly what happened. Gregerson, he's really, really narrow. Lennon's come right inside. You just see he tries to get himself back into position. Fortune's in a position he doesn't wish to be in. Ajiman trying to find another gear on Gregerson. Patrick Ajiman still on the ball, has options, plays this. Abata looking for the hat trick, sends it over the bar. The heat map is presented by Celsius. Quick look at Leo Abata, the official energy drink partner of MLS. He scored twice today. Charlotte on the defensive here. This ball played across, taken here. Shande Silva, far post fires, hits the side netting, and Atlanta's back in business. Shande Silva to make it a three to two game. It's a wonderful touch, an absolutely brilliant touch from Silva. He's just opened the whole of the goal for him. This touch here opens it up, and then he uses burn to bend around. Trying to fend off Abada. Tiago Almada, top of the box. The goal scorer, Shande Silva, has Caleb Wiley. Return pass, oh! On the first touch, Almada sent it wide of goal. Had Wiley on the overlap, plays centrally instead. Tiago Almada gets it back a second time. Almada takes this into the 18. Still Almada plays this. Shande Silva shot blocked away. That's Malanda who filled the lane. They've given absolutely everything. They've been so compact up and down the pitch. It is all over. Atlanta United has dropped five consecutive home games.